This video will continue showing you how to use the Lightorama Show Editor to build a show. There are lots of different options in shows, lots of different ways that you can cause the show to behave. So there are several different videos in this series. And uh, if you haven't seen the previous videos in this series, you might want to go back and watch them first before watching this one. In those videos, we built a show that had uh, sequences in its musical section. Let's open up that show. Here it is. And here are the sequences that we put into the musical section. Now we're just to remind ourselves about how this show will operate. Um, we have the shuffle option selected, so these are going to play in a random order. And we have a cleanup sequence specified, so after one of these plays, the cleanup sequence will play. After another plays, the cleanup sequence will play again, and so on. After every single one of them, the cleanup sequence will play. And this will start happening when the show starts up at its scheduled time, and it will end when the, the show reaches its scheduled end. The schedule is contained, is uh, dealt with in the Lightorama schedule editor, not the show editor, and the schedule editor's topic for another video. Uh, in this video, we're going to show how to use the animation section of the show. Currently, there's nothing in the animation sequence of the sh section of the show. The animation section and the musical section play concurrently with each other. They play at the same time. So there might be a sequence from the musical section playing and a sequence from the animation section, or possibly even several sequences from the animation se section. They all can be playing simultaneously. So let's add a sequence to our animation section. Do it in the same way as we did for the musical section. We click on that big plus button. Now let's say we want to add our snowman to the animation section. And uh, this animation section is usually for um, sequences that you want running independently of your main musical sequences. For example, imagine that this snowman sequence, maybe we have a uh, big fence on the side of our yard that has a snowman animation on it, and the snowman is waving to uh, to the kids or something like that. So this snowman will be waving the whole time that um, our show is playing. And maybe we even want another one in there, waving Santa. Maybe Santa is waving as well. And now that we've added two into the animation section, what I just said a moment ago, that the snowman will be waving the whole time, is no longer true. Because after the snowman uh, sequence ends, then waving Santa will begin. And then after waving Santa ends, snowman will begin. So only one of these is going to be playing at a time. They'll be playing along with the musical sequences. So... For example, this Daddy I'm Fine might be playing and Waving Santa might be playing simultaneously. But Waving Santa and Snowman will not be playing simultaneously. However, that's just an option. That's because we have this play sequentially chosen. If we wanted to, we could instead play concurrently. And now both Snowman and Waving Santa will be playing at the same time and they'll be playing continuously for your entire show, basically. And um, uh, as they're playing, the songs in your musical section will also be playing. So one important thing that often trips people up is that uh, if you have the same channel defined in two different sequences that are playing simultaneously, those two sequences are going to be fighting for control over that channel. They're both going to be telling that channel what to do. And that is not likely to work out the way that you are hoping for. So if you do something like this, where you have sequences in your animation section and in your musical section, they can be playing at the same time. So you want to make sure that they have totally distinct sets of channels. You don't have the same channel defined in two different sequences that can be playing at the same time. Uh, and I'll mention here just briefly, there's another program called the Lightorama Verifier, which I'm not going to cover in this video, but um, 
it can check your shows and your sequences and so forth for a whole bunch of potential problems. And one of the problems it can check for is that problem, where you have Snowman, let's say, is set up to use Lightorama Controller 01 Circuit 1, and the Elements also has that exact same channel in it. That's going to cause your show to behave in kind of wacky ways, and the verifier can easily determine that for you and point it out to you so that you can fix it before you actually start your show. So you don't have to wait until your show is running to discover these problems. You can notice them beforehand using the Lightorama verifier. Anyway, after we've set up our animation section with our two animations that we want running all the time and concurrently with each other, we can then save our show. And I think that's about it for this video. I hope this helps.